Aloha, this is my uh, video for my Excellence in Online Teaching Award application. Um, I'm going to be showing you around my Psych 250 class, it's uh, Social Psych. So as far as um, DE Guideline 4.1 about the instructional materials, here is a uh, an example of my module pages. So because the, um, the class has a theme of travel and tourism, in regards to social psych. Um, we start with an optional virtual visit. They don't have to do it, but an optional virtual visit to um, somewhere in the world, a tourist destination. Um, then I have a module overview. And then each module has information on how it helps us meet the course learning objectives. So that's really important um, to me that they can align that up right away. Um, there's a checklist for them. There's the reading broken out. Um, there's some H5P review activities and then the module assignments. So um, another part of this 4.1 I will show you is the uh, Google Sites that I created. So this is created um, as an OER resource. Um, and I have created all this and it has uh, embedded videos in it. It has um, different kinds of uh, text, all uh, Creative Commons licensed. And I'll go into that a little more in other sections. Okay, and for 4.2 guideline, um, one of the things, there's, there's four, four learning outcomes and um, a lot of activities. And so um, I wanted to focus in just on one type of activity for this video. Uh, one of the things I'm most proud of in this class is how much hands-on research I've been able to get the students involved in, even though it's an asynchronous online class. So um, if they can't interact with each other in a synchronous way, um, I've had them interacting with the world around them in a synchronous way, in a research way, um, having to take into into account that these students don't necessarily have a strong research background. So I've had to scaffold a lot. Um, so I'll show you some of the research activities I've done. So this one was one we did early on. It was the 20 statements test, which is a way to measure self-esteem um, that social psychologists use. So I had them do it themselves and four other people. Everyone could stay anonymous. I told them they could hide themselves in wherever if they didn't want me to know who they were. They didn't, don't put names, all that kind of stuff. So it's anonymous. Um, then I gave them some uh, guidelines as far as analyzing the data, reporting the data, and then um, a section on what they were turning in, including um, psychological analyses, but also um, relating to their own lives which is another SLO. Um, research activity two was a similar self-esteem measure. Um, it was a little bit different. It was a little bit longer, so they did it with fewer people, uh, but they still um, did it with three people. And again, I told them they could hide themselves in there anonymously wherever. Um, and then they had this these questions about, again, reporting the research, uh, what it was like to do research, and also um, relating it back to our, our um, course theme of travel and tourism. So research three, they did an interview. They interviewed one person about their uh, travel experience, transcribed their interview, and then analyzed it for uh, evidence of one of these course concepts in it. Uh, research activity four, they observed a group somewhere. I told them to go somewhere. There was a mix of tourists. Some people went to the mall. Some people went to the beach. Um, and this is a way to get uh, observational experience even when they're in an asynchronous class. Um, uh, implicit association task, which is an experimental task um, used in social psych. Uh, so they took some of their own, they watched some videos about the IAT, and then reflected on their experience. Social media content analysis, so they would watch a TED talk about the danger of a single story, choose a travel destination, find um, this specific one was focused on stereotypes, prejudice, and discrimination. So they would find um, evidence from two social media travel posts, of which there is no shortage, um, about people commenting on the locals in that destination. Um, and I think this is especially useful assignment. Uh, they, they've been interacting with it a lot because they live in a place where there are a lot of tourists. Okay, and for guideline 4.3 about collaboration 
and um, interaction, they, I showed you the research activities already. So I'll show you the discussions, which are the, these are the two main types of assignments I have uh, activities in the class. Um, so we do some map stuff. So because of the travel and tourism, right, the discussion number one was they had to post one place on the map that they had been before and one place they would like to go but have never been um, and then respond to each other that way. Uh, we did another map activity in um, discussion number six where they had to find wisdom from around the world. I gave them some uh, articles about this and they had to plot where they found their um, wisdom from, kind of like Ololo Noyao around, from around the world, um, and then say how that related to the Western um, psychology that we're talking about. Uh, they're all, they've also been discussing um, academic articles on perusal and also um, sometimes use Padlet timeline as like a Likert scale. So this, they were supposed to go from zero to a hundred and see where they placed Hawaii as far as being collectivistic to individualistic, which was a concept covered in that part of the class. Okay, and then for 4.4, there are, I for every picture I put in, I add a the CC license in the, uh, website that I created. As you can see there, I use the correct headings. Um, I bold things. I have the, uh, you can access it on YouTube for the embedded things. Um, and then down at the end are all the resources that I used to create that, um, including the CC license I put on there myself. All right. Thank you.